Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're so glad to have you listening. I'm Lynette Kittle, and today's topic is How to Keep Living While the World is Ending. We'll be right back after a brief message from our sponsor. How to Keep Living While the World is Ending Written and read by Lynette Kittle I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. John 10, 28 With tensions increasing in the Middle East and the whole world, how are we to keep living day to day when it looks like the world is soon ending? We may be seriously wondering if it's even possible to live a peaceful life in the midst of the global chaos taking place now. The truth is, the world could end any day for us without all these things happening on earth. Many individuals have unexpectedly left this world without notice through natural disasters, accidents, terrorist attacks, and sickness without warning. If they had known ahead of time, would they have lived their lives differently? As Christians, we know this life on earth is temporal, understanding that one day we will leave here for an everlasting life with Jesus. Because we do, we have an advantage over those who do not know God. 1 Corinthians fifteen fifty three through 54 explains, For the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality. When the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that is written will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. We understand that this life is not the end, but the beginning of an everlasting life for us. We know our true treasures are being stored up in heaven, waiting for us to arrive. Because we know this, we don't have to hold tight to things on earth as they aren't made of substance that lasts forever. It's easy to feel unnerved by what's taking place around the world, but God calls us to look up to Him rather than what's going on around the globe. In Luke 21, 28, Jesus says, When these things begin to take place, stand up and lift up your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. Nothing happening in our world today takes Jesus by surprise. So while on earth, he tried to prepare us. He knew it could cause us to feel insecure and afraid. In Matthew 24, 6, Jesus says, You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. As Colossians 3.15 encourages, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body, you were called to peace, and be thankful. When we choose to focus on all Jesus has and is doing for us, our hearts receive his peace. As he explains in Matthew 6.21, For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Like Jesus assures us in John 14.27, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Rather than letting fear of the unknown, of what could happen in the world in the days to come, we can ask God to guard our hearts from panic. Whenever fear tries to take over our lives, we we can look to Him to free us from the fear of death and give us His joy to keep living life. Hebrews two fourteen through 15 explains how Jesus accomplished this for us. Since the children have flesh and blood, he too shared in their humanity, so that by his death he might break the power of him who holds the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who all their lives were held in slavery by the fear of death. As individuals freed from the fear of death, We can walk daily in confidence, 
knowing that our future is secure in Christ. Even if the whole world collapsed in a matter of seconds, we have his promise that we will be safe with him. Jesus assures us in John 10, 28, that no one will be able to snatch us out of his hand. Intersecting Faith in Life Are you feeling paralyzed by all the chaos happening in the world today? Unsure of how to live day to day and keep moving forward? If so, look up towards God, asking Him to fill your heart and mind with His peace and to help you trust Him daily for your future. Further reading, a prayer for those who fear the end of the world. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.